But anyway, serious subject today. Uh, dog bites and rabies. Rabies is a problem in the Philippines. Rabies, if you get it, I think the volta- um, mortality rate is 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, is it worth getting the rabies shot if you get, get bitten by a dog? Yes. Um, is it better to get shots before a dog bites you? The answer is yes. To get the anti-rabies shots costs about two and a half thousand pesos. Now, you know when I say about how people's healthcare affects their entire life, like it goes bang, something happens, and all the money's wiped out. Here's an example, because uh, a friend of mine was actually bitten by his puppy in the last few days. I think it was a puppy. It was a dog puppy, whatever. It was a dog of some description. Um, each shot, you've got to have five, um, the anti-rabies shots, um, are 75,000 pesos each. So that's going to set you back 300 and... That's going to set you back 75 times 5. 375,000 pesos if you're bitten by a dog on the off chance that you may get rabies. doesn't mean you've got rabies, but it means that as a preventive uh, prevention, um, you get the shots. That's 375,000 pesos. The, like I said earlier, the shot that you can have as a preventive measure, as they say, uh, prevention is better than cure, is only 2,500. So just putting that out there, it's up to you if you want it or not. But... This also is a very good uh, symbol uh, and example of how things can go wrong quite rapidly for people if, for example, they don't have insurance and they don't have a big budget and are bitten by a neighbor's dog. Um, Because your neighbor's very unlikely to have any money to actually pay for your medical bill and getting them to pay for it's another story. So you could be out of pocket for 375,000 pesos that is not money you have or you could die um, because they're not going to give you for free um, can't say any fairer than that That's the, this is the fact, this is the truth and the reason I make these videos is to make people better informed um, than things they're unaware of because the crazy thing is I get to people go, Matt you, you complain about Spain, you complain about the UK you complain about uh, the Philippines no what I do is inform you about the things to be aware of. That's not complaining. It's a bit like going to school and learning things. You may not want to learn it or may not want to know the ne- negative aspects or go, I don't need maths. What am I going to use maths for? But the reality is you still need that information somewhere in your life. So it's more of a information channel than an entertainment one. I, I don't do the jumping around and... Uh, acting the idiot, I can't do it, I'm not interested, it's not what I do my YouTube channel for, I do it for information, there's other channels out there that can do all that stuff for you, Um, this one just focuses on what it needs to, alright, thanks for watching.